Hi all, in this video I am going to set up a react project using wheat and also doing the unit test cases using wheat test, JSTOM, react testing library and also MSW. So let's get started. First I am going to create a wheat project. Before that go to the terminal and you can give the command npm create wheat at latest. It will ask for the project name. I am giving a project name react app test. I am choosing react here and I am choosing TypeScript plus SWC which is more faster than Babel. So SWC means speedy web compiler. Then they already gave the instructions. You can give the instruction cd react app test. Now we are inside the project. You can give npm install for installing the dependencies. It will take some time. Installation is done. Next, npm run dev to run the application in the browser. Now the application starts in 5173 port. Just copy the URL and paste it in the browser. Now you can see the application is running. So the next step is we are going to install the vtest for writing the unit test cases. I'm just opening another terminal. And make sure you are running the npm install inside the project. So I'm just moving to app test. Then I'm installing npm install minus d means save dev. Okay, so you can also give save dev like save save dev instead of minus d. Then we test. All the test dependency should be installed with a save dev. Okay. So if you go to the package.json file, before we doesn't have the vtest, now it is installing. Now vtest is available, okay, inside the dev dependencies. Once that is done, you have to add a command here, which is test. And in order to run the unit test cases, it should be vtest. Now we will run the test using vtest. For that, you can give the command npm run test since it doesn't have any test maybe it will throw error so no test file found okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new file which is app.test.csx and first i have to do the describe so we are using describe at it and it needs to be imported from the vtest describe then it from vtest Then I'm adding describe test. Testing the V test. I know it is nothing related to the app uh, component I'm testing here. I'm just checking whether the V test is working fine or not. Okay, that's it. I'm not importing the app component. I'm not rendering the app component right now. I'm simply saying expect true dot to be truthy. I know it doesn't make sense, but after installing the React testing library, just Dom. And the MSW, we can write a meaningful unit test cases. Okay, I'm just adding the expect also here. Now we can run npm run test again. Now you can see it is passed. Okay, if you change, it is failed as well. So it is working fine. And also, if you want to see a coverage of the components, you can what you can do is you can go to the package or JSON wherever you have written the V test. You can add coverage here. Just running it again. But this package is not installed. So do you want to install? I'm giving S. Yes. It is installed. Again, I'm giving npm run test. Now you can see the app file, it is nothing has been covered and the main.tsx uh, file also not covered. Our next step is we have to install some packages related to the unit test cases like JSTOM, React testing library, user event and the JSDOM environment. So before installing, to go to the GitHub repository of the vtest, there will be examples. There will be lots of examples given for installing each packages. So I'm just taking the React testing library right now. 
So in the package dot JSON, they were mentioning which are the packages available required for doing this one. So you can see just DOM, React, and the user event, and also you can install JS DOM for the environment. Why we need a JS DOM? So JS DOM by default we test comes with a matchers by default to be true T. Those type of matchers will be available. But if you want to add more custom matchers, interact with the DOM, like to be disabled, to be enabled, to be in the document, to be visible, these are the common one we are using in the uh, unit test cases. Okay. So in order to use that, you have to install the JS DOM. So going to the project. So I'm going to give a command npm install minus d. So the testing library JS DOM, then React testing library and the user event and also the JS DOM. Okay, after that is installed, what you have to do is you have to create inside the SRC or maybe you can directly create a setup.ts file. Okay, so now I created inside the test the similar way they have done. So inside the test setup.ts file and I am imported the JS DOM. Okay, so it's I already created an SRC and inside the test a setup.ts file is created and simply I have imported the JS DOM after the installation is done. Okay, after that you have to go to v.config.ts file. You can create test. And inside the test object, you can create these two. You can now see there is an error showing in this file. In order to avoid the error, what you can do, you can copy these two things on top of the file. These two reference can be added, then the error will be gone. Okay. So the next thing is why we have to do a global true. So first I am going to add a globals equal to true and going to the tsconfig.json file, and we test globals is added. Okay. Then what is the use of this global? So now you can come to the test file and you can see I'm always importing the describe it expect always in old unit test cases file. We have to do that. So if you avoid that right now, now you won't get any error. But if I remove this again, you can see there will be an error. Cannot find the describe. So I'm just adding it back. Then the error will be go away. Okay. And also here they have included this file also, the setup.ts file also. I'm just adding that in the TS config file. So our TS config file is done, weed config setup is done, and also our test inside the test, the setup.ts file is also done. Okay. The next thing what you can do. So when your project started uh, you know expanded more components, when your project having more and more components, what you can do inside the SRC folder, you can either add another create a util file also. Okay. So I'm just going to create inside SRC new folder utils and test hyphen utils dot tsx file so for example if your project grows now your project you can see in the main dot tsx there will be only app component but if your project grows bigger and if you're using the redux stuff maybe you have to add the providers you know you have to add the store details so there will be a wrapper uh, above this app so we cannot use the render method inside the unit test cases directly so you have to do some wrapping so i'm just created a util file here and also doing a cleanup function. So these are the things I'm going to add. First, from the React library, I'm adding cleanup render. And after every unit test cases, it will be cleanup. And also, if you have any wrapper, uh, as I mentioned, if you have a React Redux wrapper, those type of stuffs, you can create a custom render function. And I'm exporting as a render here. Okay. So these things, I'm just copying from here. I'm just adding it in the util.tsx file. Just closing that one and coming to the app.ts file so if you see app.tsx file having a v plus react okay so v plus react so i'm good just going to check whether it has that text okay so i just added app checking whether v and react text is available so const text equal to you have to get a screen so in order to get the screen first you have to render the app so go that you have to render the app component here so the render is coming from the test tutor so in order to instead of taking everything from the test library react what we have done right now is we added a test tutor and everything has been exporting from here so everything you can do is everything you can import from the test tutors and app also from the app component then the screen 
screen also needs to be imported from the test tuples, which is actually coming from the React testing library. So, screen dot get by text. And I'm just adding the V plus React and I'm expect expect the text dot to be to be in the document is coming from the just DOM. Okay. Then we are running npm run test. Now you can see the app component unit test cases coverage has been increased, right? So, and it is passed as well. The similar way, if you go to the example, we test example, you can see more things has been added there with the same example which we have. For example, if I'm just opening our application in another terminal using the command npm run dev edv. When I click on the button, I have to, the counter is started getting increases. So, if you want to do that, it has been already written in this one. So, the title is visible. The similar way uh, should increment the count on click. So, I am just copy paste this one here. I am adding it in the describe section. It should increment on click. So, it should render the app. Then, user is clicking on the button and it is expecting the count to be 1. So, the user event, I am just adding from the test tutorials. Okay, it started failing. So, let me check. It doesn't have any hyphen at all. Now, you can see that it is passed. So, it's not a hyphen. Uh, so, it's not hyphen. It's a colon. It's not a colon. So, count is 1 to be in the document. So, now it is working and everything is 100 percentage. Now, okay. The coverage is 100 percentage. So, this is uh, all about the unit test cases uh, with uh, JSTOM, React testing library, user event and the JSTOM. Next we, are, next, we are going to install MSW, which is Mock Service Worker used for API mocking in React projects. For that, you have to install MSW as a dev dependency. npm install minus capital D. I'm adding MSW. So, that is installed in the dev dependencies array. After that, Next, you have to add the network to describe the network. You have to uh, add all the API calls in the handlers and that needs to be set up with the help of setup worker. I'm going to create these two as a separate files. For the documentation and examples, you can go to this uh, vtest uh, GitHub repository and in the example section, you can see there is a React testing library with MSW and in the SRC sections, they have created a mock folder which has a server.ts file and handler.ts file. So, I'm going to add that. So, SRC inside the test. Now, I am going to create a new folder called mocks handlers.ts file and server.ts file. Our application currently doesn't have any API calls, right? So, first I just set up a temporary API call with the help of the dummy JSON to do's API. And what I am doing right now is I just created a use state. And in the use effect, in the own load, I'm calling an API. I can show you what this API returns. This API returns a to-dos array, which contains a 30 records, okay? So, to-dos array and that I am setting in the to-dos. And that to-dos, if it has a length, I'm just showing to-do list count. You can see the to-do list count is 30, okay? So, we are, we are going to write the unit test cases for this with the help of MSW. For that, first you have to write something in the handler.ts file. So, in the mock section, handler.ts file, I'm just adding some code here. Okay. So, in the handlers array, whatever the APIs we are using here in the app.tsx file, okay, that API has been copied and I'm just returning a JSON structure with the help of HTTP response. So, HTTP response and HTTP is taken from the MSW and I'm just adding a data, dummy data. So, original API have a uh, 30 records, I think 30, no? 30 records and have a dummy uh, JSON. We are intercepting that request and we are passing the to-dos object as a one record and I am passing the status as a 200. Okay. Once this is done, we have to set up the server. So, in the server file, you can add the code like this. So, 
in the setup file setup server it need to be imported and the handlers which we have just created right now is imported and we just created a server with the handlers we have added right now okay once these two things added you have to go to setup.ts file and uh, you have to configure the server so in order to add the server so server dot listen so before all after all after each you have to add this content and i'm just importing the server also once these three things has been done as a part of msw next up is you have to write the unit test cases so going back to the app.tsx file first i am going to check whether api is success okay so api success scenario on load for that i'm just adding a sync operation and rendering the app and then i am going to check whether if api is called what happens is it will show the total count as 30 right so for that either i can use await wait for or i am just adding expect await screen dot find by so instead you find by instead of await find by you can also use await wait for with the screen dot get by text okay so find by text i am using here and i am adding a to do list colon To be in the document okay. and we can run the unit test cases npm run test okay now you can see api success scenario on load is working now now i am going to check the api error scenario so either what you can do you can create an error handler section and you can add the server setup server for the errors and before all after all after each you can listen close everything whatever you need but here what i'm going to do is a, another scenario so api error scenario on load so the render app then expect okay so i'm not giving await and also find by text because if the api is um, failed i have to use screen dot query by text text then i'm just only adding to do list to do list won't be available if the api fails so i'm just adding not dot to be in the document or you can add the to be visible also okay so here i have to mock the api and it should return a 401 or something like that so i am giving server dot use server needs to be imported and inside the server dot use just adding http get this api request and i am returning http response with null and the status 4401 everything is added let me check See, all the unit test cases is passed and we have a hundred percentage brand functions lines and the statement coverage for all the files